Okay, hi, I'm uh, Jeroen van Hune. I'm uh, a professor in geodynamics in, uh, in Durham at the University of Durham in the UK. Okay, so my, uh, my research involves um, things like subduction zones and uh, plate mental interaction. So one of the key questions in my field, I think is uh, uh, when and how did plate tectonics start and how did it evolve over time? So this, this topic has become more popular over, well, over the last decades, but um, I think the, the open question still remains. And the more we learn about it, uh, the more interesting it becomes, actually. And uh, another nice aspect of that particular question is that, um, that there is so few information known about the early Earth that uh, it, it automatically becomes very multidisciplinary to, uh, to, to grab as much information as you can, which I really like. I've been going to EGU since the 1990s when it was still called, uh, what was it, EGS and, and EUG. So, and I've been going since then most of the years. I might have missed a few ones, but uh, I guess I've been to EGU around 20 times or so. Uh, well, actually, I do also do remember the first time I went to, to Vienna, yeah, the huge conference center, and I was quite impressed with the whole venue. Yeah. Yes, it was actually years ago, a long time ago, I, I, I attended, uh, well, I wanted to attend one of the oral sessions in geodynamics, but uh, went to a big room and it completely filled up. And uh, when it all started, I realized I was actually in the wrong room. And uh, I was, it was a long medal talk actually, and, uh, from a completely different division. I didn't dare to leave really because I thought it was rude. So I stayed for the whole talk, even though I, I had no idea what it was about. I think it was biogeoscience, but I, yeah, since then I, I try to make sure that uh, that I'm in the right room. Well, the main goal, I guess, is and should be that the geodynamics division runs smoothly uh, as it has in the past. And that will be my, my main goal To And I would like to see if I can advertise geodynamics more and integrate it with other disciplines um, and bring geodynamicists around the world together in the framework of, of EGU. One of the problems with geodynamics uh, might be that there is generally a lack of funding for blue skies research and that probably includes geodynamics so uh, at least that's true in many countries and uh, even though geodynamics doesn't always lead to new energy sources or saving lives i think un indirectly it really underpins this research uh, for example finding mineral exploration uh, or geohazards through uh, pioneering modeling work that, that often starts in geodynamics. I know that not everybody is a fan of, of uh, online conferences, but um, I hope that will come after, after um, COVID, I hope that it becomes more the norm, more normal to go to conferences virtually. And I think we can uh, all help to reduce some traveling and um, therefore I think EGU should remain a hybrid conference in the future where you can attend it both from home and in person. <laughs>